there, Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my stamp studio. And today I am bringing you episode two of my Fringe Frenzy series. The Fringe Frenzy kit is a fun stamp and die and paper kit from Concord and Ninth. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the add-on kit that you can get with that. It's a cute stamp set right here and die set that creates a pinata, a banner, a unicorn, really cute things that you can fringe and fun uh, other stamps that can go along with this kit. I'm gonna show you how to make custom colored fringe with this particular die set. And then we'll make a cute card and a tag to go along with that. So tons of fun. And then I'm also giving away this card from episode one's video. So if you commented on that video, your name went into a drawing to win this card right here. And I drew out a name and that name will appear on the screen right now. Congratulations. And then that also means that I'm doing a giveaway for this video. Now the card that I'm making in this video, I have already given away. So I'm going to do something different. I'm going to give away a like surprise bundle of cards, probably like three or five cards I'll send out to one lucky winner just for commenting on this video, giving it a thumbs up, and then I'll just send you like a little surprise pack of cards that I have made. All right, so enough about that. Let's get to the fringing. We're going to start today's project by custom coloring this piece of lightweight cardstock with some orange colored inks. I wanted to make an orange card specific for a um, special person whose favorite color is orange. So I'm using the Warm and Cozy ink pad collection from Altenew, and I'm starting with the lightest color and blending it onto this paper with a blending brush. And the colors in this set are called Sun Kissed, that's the lightest color, then Orange Cream, Autumn Breeze, and Fire Brick. Pretty cool colors. So I'm just gonna blend four stripes each of these colors. So one of the lightest, one of the medium, one of the medium dark, and one of the darkest. So I can take the fringe dye, from the Fringe Frenzy kit and die cut a piece of fringe that will be in each of these colors. Now when you're doing this, it is important that you use a very lightweight piece of paper, even paper from your printer. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I will go over that a few times to get it as dark as I like. This is the die from the Fringe Frenzy kit. I'm gonna die cut, like I said, four pieces. And then I'm gonna put this um, double stick tape over the fringe. So it's partway covering the fringe and partway off the fringe. And that's really important when you're die cutting. You don't want your little fringe pieces to fall off. But don't worry, in the second part of this video, I will show you what to do if your fringe falls off. Also, if you wanna make sure that you're going to evenly space your fringe, you can use the spacing guide that comes with the Fringe Frenzy kit, and that'll help you line it up evenly. All right, so as I'm laying my die on, I noticed that I needed a second piece of that darkest color, so I had a little scrap I just stuck on, and I'm gonna die cut this um, pinata shape from the Pinata Party add-on kit. So this is a stamp and die set you can get and you can have it work with your fringe or you can use it separate of your fringe. Really cool set. Now I'm bringing in the streamer um, stamp and I'm putting it um, vertically in my Misty and I'm inking it up with three of those orange colors so it has an ombre effect going from dark to medium to light. And I'm just scooting my paper over and um, stamping them repeatedly and I filled all that up with a little space on either side, and that is my background. So I needed a little something extra, so I pulled out some orange silk and just splattered that over the top. I love this product from FSJ. I really love splatter, so these are fun because they have a little um, shimmer in with the color. So we will let that dry. Once it's dry, I'm bringing in that darkest orange color fire brick and stamping my sentiment. It's what's on the inside that counts at the bottom. That is from the Pinata Party. And so is this black line that I'm using for the string to hang 
my little pinata guy on. So he's hanging there from a string with some foam squares and I'm just deciding kind of how I want to place it before I really push it down. So you can see I can easily pick it up and move it because I didn't feel like it was quite centered. Then I'm gonna layer this onto a piece of orange creamsicle cardstock. I think this is one of the colors that Fun Stamper's Journey recently retired, but I'm just using a lighter orange and then the base of my card is a darker orange. Now to pop this panel up onto my card base, I am using a piece of Fun Foam that had adhesive on one side and then I'm gonna glue that down to the card base so that I have a really nice sturdy card. And now we're gonna decorate the inside of the card. So there are some little filler like images in this pinata party set that look like candy. So I mounted those onto a small block and I'm gonna use each of these four orange colors to stamp a border around my inside panel, um, which is just a piece of white cardstock cut to four inches by five and a fourth. And once I have that border all finished, I'm gonna come in with another sentiment from the same set, set that says hang in there. And that is just like the perfect saying for this card. So I'm gonna glue that down and that finishes up the card. And this month I am doing a card and something to go with the card. And so I'm gonna make a matching tag. But I wanted to use up some of my white fringe scraps. So these are already die cut from the fringe paper that comes in the Fringe Frenzy kit. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but a lot. So you can see here I'm laying it out over that die just to make sure that some of those scraps are going to be long enough. Now this is the lightweight paper that I will end up sticking my fringe to once I am ready to die cut it. So I'm tracing that um, pinata shape on there so I can make sure and line up these small pieces. And what I'm doing is taking a smaller blending brush and ink blending right directly onto the fringe. This is gonna give me um, just a little bit different look than the first pinata that I die cut with a little more color variation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stick these on. Remember, when putting on your double stick tape, it should go halfway on the fringe and halfway off. That way you're not gonna lose any of your little fringy pieces. But that being said, I will lose some and I will show you what I did to fix it. So I needed one more little piece of the lightest color, and so I'm bringing in a second piece and darkening up what I already did because I felt like it just needed a kiss more of color. So I'm sticking that piece down. It's gonna hang off halfway, so that's why I put an extra piece of the tape there. All right, so now I can go ahead and die cut this and then I will gently remove it because it is lightweight paper and you'll see like a bunch of my fringe just comes falling down like somebody had already hit this pinata. So I had to do a little card surgery, it was totally fine. I just used a little liquid glue and then I picked up some of those pieces. I even used some of the pieces um, the, around the die cut and just peeled those off and glued them down just to fill in those little gaps. It really wasn't that much effort, but it really finished it off and made it look nice. Now I'm bringing in one of my favorite die sets, Special Day Tag Die Set. I'm gonna use these two tags together to create this tag frame. Then I'm gonna use the outer one by itself to cut one white tag and one from a piece of window sheet. This is gonna help me create a shaker tag. So uh, around the frame, I am putting down some 1 8 of an inch double stick tape so that I can adhere that window sheet right to that frame. And that will be the window into my shaker tag. Now, just to help me line this up a little bit, I am cutting some of the excess, or I don't know, some of the edges off so that I don't have to worry about it lining up and too much. But still, I didn't get it lined up and I had to trim some more off. So die cutting it, it's up to you. You could just actually cut a rectangle that you knew was gonna cover this and it might be easier in the end, but either way, it worked. So I'm cutting off this excess that showed that I didn't want to show, and that will be the front of the tag. Now I'm gonna flip that over and I'm gonna line that rectangular window with some foam 
tape. So this is adhesive on both sides with foam in the middle because I want to create a um, reservoir, I like to call it, for my shaker elements so they do not escape. So make sure that they touch in all the corners. Now I'm taking an anti-static powder tool and rubbing it on the edge of that adhesive before I remove the backing. So my little cute, um, these are called slice fetti pieces do not stick to it. These are clay-like images um, that, images? They're really, yeah, little pieces of fruit made out of clay and they're super cute, very lightweight. So I um, stamped the background tag with that same image I used on the inside of the tag just for some interest for when the shaker bits are in one corner or another. And then I was able to adhere that right to my back of my tag. Now I die cut a lightweight piece of white chipboard to back my pinata on just to make it more sturdy. And then I will stick that to my tag with some foam squares. And here's the to and from from that same die set, the tag die set I cut from some citrus cooler cardstock and put on the back of my tag. Now you see here I'm bringing in this um, white and gold twine I thought would be really fun for the top of the tag, but I actually end up cutting it off later. So it's there and it works, but you know, once this tag was coming together, I actually ended up making quite a few changes. So this is one thing, I needed like a little embellishment. So I took another scrap of my fringe paper. This is the reddish color from, it has a name, it does from the add-on paper pack. There's an add-on paper pack you can get that has 10 colors in it, where the original Fringe Frenzy kit has five. So I took that, peeled off the backing to the tape, and just rolled it up, creating a little tassel, and it is so very cute. And then I was able to bring in my bloom tool, and um, I had to f fuss with this a little bit and just kind of work with it, and pierce a hole through the top of it. You just have to keep going, and I have a little foam um, mat down there so I um, can press really hard into it. I loved that so much that I die cut a yellow piece and rolled that up, creating a second tassel. Now this piece was a little bit longer than the red piece, and so this one is going to be a little bit um, thicker. Now I'm bringing in my um, thread kit from Concord and Knight. I don't know if you know, but they have some sewing dies. And this kit right here with the thread and the needle comes from Concord and Knight. I will link to a video using that other kit for you below. It's super fun. And they've just come out with some new things that you can stitch. New dies. They're amazing. They have fall ones and Christmas ones. You're going to be amazed. You're going to love it. So I'll link all that in the description box for you guys below. All right, so once I strung these up onto this yellow string, I decided I wasn't gonna tie it around the string I already had on, but I would go ahead and have that be the string for my tag. So I will thread that through and make that the new topper for this tag. So it has that yellow and orange and red, and it it's just kind of taking on a new <laughs> look of its own, not just being orange. So I'm gonna tie this again so that it has a knot near the top of the tag, and that will help hold those tassels in place where I want them, and I am just tickled with how they turned out. They're so cute. Now, after I made this, I was like, oh my gosh, I really wish the window of this was orange instead of white. So I brought in some Copic markers. Right here I'm using YR04 to just go ahead and color that entire frame with. And it really made me happy. <laughs> the orange was, it was just not enough. It needed um, that pop of color because when you, um, the way I did the fringe on this particular pinata, it wasn't as vibrant as I thought it would be. So I did need that extra pop of color. Then I'm going to come in with YR07 and just do a little outlining on the edge of this tag. I thought if I'm going to color this with Copics, I might as well have kind of an ink blended look. So that's what I'm doing. And I like how it turned out. Of course, I think it would have been um, even better had I just die cut it with the some color of orange cardstock, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So then I brought back in the YR04 just to blend those edges out and give it a more vibrant look. So that was 
making me so happy, I decided I need the fringe to be more vibrant. So I brought in my sparkle silk and shook that up and I painted all the fringe over this whole pinata. And I'm just gonna show you in this video a little touch here and a little touch there because the actual part where I painted the whole thing somehow didn't get recorded. So this is like, I'm faking it just to show you. <laughs> all right, so there it is all sparkly. It actually made the colors intensify and I love how it turned out. So those are the two projects. Remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below because I'm going to be drawing out a name and giving away a little surprise bundle of cards. And you can see here the inside of the card. I put a little more of that sliced Fetty. So when the recipient opened it, all that would fall out. Just kind of a fun surprise. It went to um, a kid that I know and I hope that he loved it and was surprised with that fun um, inside pieces, kind of like an actual pinata, right? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon with another video. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I will see you soon. Happy stamping.